Hi. Today I'm going to minister to you uh, some revelation that the Lord has just revealed to me lately. Um, you know, in in Exodus, Moses was the great deliverer. And in Exodus 1.22, I believe that's what it is, when Moses was uh, young, Pharaoh tried to kill him. So read Mo, uh, Exodus 1.22. Let me turn to that right quick. You can follow me in your Bibles if you'd like. Exodus 1.22 says, Then Pharaoh charged all his people, saying, Every son born to the Hebrews you shall cast into the river Nile, but every daughter you shall allow to live. Okay, Moses, I mean not Moses, I'm sorry. Pharaoh was trying to kill Moses. And he had a lot of babies killed trying to kill Moses. Okay, now let's switch over to when Jesus was born. And that is, let's see, Matthew 2, 16. And I'm reading from the Amplified Version of the Bible. So let's flip over to Matthew Chapter 2, verse 16 says, Then Herod, okay, Herod was the one that killed a lot of babies around the time that Jesus was born into the earth because he was trying to kill Jesus. Okay, Matthew 2, verse 16 says, then Herod, when he realized that he had, made, had been misled by the wise men, was furiously enraged. And he sent and put to death all the male children in Bethlehem and all the territory who were two years old and under, reckoning according to the date which he had investigated diligently and had learned exactly from the wise men. Okay, so Herod put a lot of babies to death. Because he was trying to kill Jesus. Okay? Okay. So, where I'm going with this, let me uh, tell you, you know, Jesus, or God, created the world by the words of his mouth. He said, let there be light. And he made man in his image. He made us a speaking spirit so that we can speak like he does. We can speak into the earth. Okay? So, in this day and hour we're living in, okay, think about this. Since 1973, when abortion was legalized in the United States of America, there's been millions of babies put to death. That is like a sign of the great deliverance that we're fixing to receive in the earth, the rapture of the church. Okay, and let me give you the verse in Joel, Joel 2.28. Let me read that to you right quick and I took my marker out of the Bible Joel 2 verse 28 and afterward I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions so the sons and daughters that have been aborted since 1973 aren't able to prophesy there's been millions of voices destroyed. We have got to prophesy in the great outpouring of the Holy Ghost. So Jesus can come get us in the rapture. He's fixing to take us out of here. We're going to marry Jesus. But there's many souls that still need to be saved and that will be lost unless we use our voices to prophesy in the great outpouring of the Holy Ghost so that the Holy Ghost will be moving in the earth so it'll the Spirit of God can draw people in for their souls to be saved. Prophesy today. Prophesy in the great 